before we start today's video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. Thank you very much for sticking around and thanks for supporting me. It really helps me out a lot and I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos without you guys. So thank you so much. I would also like to take a moment to say special thanks to David and Richter for a tier free sub again this month. So thank you so much, you guys. Hello and welcome. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, then welcome back. So this is not going to be a tutorial video because I just learned that Brachis created a video where he made a game in 10 minutes. And in the end of that video, he actually challenged people to do the exact same thing, create a game in 10 minutes and record it. And I have looked around on YouTube and I saw a lot of people that did this challenge and it looked pretty fun. So I figured I would like to try this out myself. When I thought about this challenge, the first thing I wanted to do was to recreate an old classic game that I've been playing when I was a kid. So I thought about Donkey Kong or Lemmings or Space Invaders or something like that. Um, and then I looked at the different mechanics in the games and I figured that I would like to try to create uh, the game Lemmings again. And I figured that some of the mechanics in there are pretty easy to create. So it should be able to do, I should be able to do something in 10 minutes, I figured. So before I start the time, I need to figure out how to do this. Do I need to write my scripts first and then go into the editor and set everything up there? Or should I set everything up out here in the editor before I write the scripts? And I'm thinking that some things in the editor is going to be dependent on the scripts. So the way to go should be to write the scripts first, right? Um, I've already created the scripts, but as you can see, they're totally empty. There's nothing in them uh, except the standard one and one using up here. Um, and the reason that I've done that is because it might take 15 to 20 seconds for my Visual Studio to open up when I am uh, recording. So instead of wasting time, um, just waiting, then I already opened it. So I'm going to start with scripts and I'm going to start with the game and the script. Let's just close down here and I'm going to start the time in a moment here. And there we go. So now the time is running. I'm going to open up the game manager. Inside my game manager, I will need to create some points. So let's make a static integer called uh, score. And I need to make a property for that. And then I'm going to say debug.log my score. Besides that, we also need a transform. And this is going to be my start position. And we would also need a, a amount of things we need to spawn and then I would also need a game object for a prefab so lemming prefab and I would like to create a new um, enumerator function so let's say spawn it's called that and in here I am going to spawn all my uh, lemmings and we can do that by saying instantiate and take our lemming prefab and instantiate it on the start position that we are going to set. And we're going to use quaternion.identity here so that we don't um, rotate it. Then I would also like to um, yield return new wait for seconds. And how many seconds you wait for before we spawn the next one? Let's say two just to test. And in start, we're going to start that coroutine called spawn. I don't know, we can also make an if statement here that says if input, if input, get key down, key code, dot r. If I, re if I click that one, then we are going to uh, use the scene manager, load scene zero. So we just reset the game, press r, so we don't get stuck. Then in Deming, we would need to add some other fields, of course. Those fields are a vector two called direction. Uh, wow. And keyboards, of course, switch to another language now. Um, animator. And we also need a collider 2D. Collider. And then we also need a float for speed. And as you can see, everything about good code uh, practice goes out the door here. What's it called sprite render? I can't think now. XR, and then we're going to set all these up inside my start here. And in this component animator and uh, direction is to vector to the right. We just want to walk to the right right away in spawn. And we're going to get the collider 2D that is sitting on the object so that we can collide with stuff. and 
sprite renderer is of course also need to get here yeah, sprite renderer. Okay. So with that done in update, we need to move our um, lemming here. So transform the translate, of course. And we need to move it in direction, multiply it by our speed, and multiply it by time. Like delta time. So move it quickly. Um, then we are going to make a function called block, so public void block. What's block going to do? It's going to turn our lemming into a roadblock that the other lemmings can't pass. So the speed is going to be zero because it doesn't need to move when that happens. We are going to set its tag into block so that we know that we have hit a block and we need to change direction. And then we're going to set the trigger for our animator so that um, the correct animation is going to be played. What are we going to call this? Well, we need to call it when we hit, when we click on him. So make a void on mouse, on mouse down there and call the block here. So when I take the mouse and click on him, he's going to block. Uh, initially I had planned that I wanted to have some buttons and click them, but that is going to take too much time for this. So we have our flip and in flip, we are going to flip him by using the sprite renderer. That's going to call flip X. We're just going to set it equal to the opposite of the value it already has. So that's like this. So now it's going to flip and the direction is going to be equal to um, like so, minus one. So we just change the direction like that. Then we have our on trigger enter 2D. So let's see here, void on trigger enter 2D. And here, if the collision attack, if that is a portal, well, if it's a portal, then we want to destroy our game object because we're done having this game object in game. It's done, it's run inside the portal. And we want to say game um, manager.score plus plus because we want to increase the score on him. Then we say void on collision enter 2D. So the collision enter is going to have a, uh, if the collision game object attack if that is a lemming well if that's the case then we need to ignore it so the lemmings don't run into each other because if we don't do uh, what we're going to do right now then all lemmings are going to um, hit each other and we don't want that so collision and collision dot collider there we go. so now they can run through each other even though they are um, not it's triggers so collision dot game object tag. If that is a block we have hit, well, if we hit a block, then we are going to flip and turn the other way around. Okay. So with that done, I can jump into Unity. And the first thing I need to do is to create a new palette so I can draw my stuff. Just going to create the palette. Come on, start loading, loading, loading. There we go. Set folder. Doesn't matter. The push is going to go in there. It's fine. And then I will create a new tile map and I'm going to set it up. The tile map is going to be uh, cell size is 123. Oh, just one. And this is going to be 0.5 and 0.5, I think. And let's see, we can go to our tile palette and go to the scene and try to draw some of this. Yeah, it looks fine. So I'm going to, oops. I'm going to draw them right there. And then I am going to create my portals. Where are they? Um, there. Blue portal first. That's where we are starting. So we're going to put it in there. Um, blue portal. And we need to have it in front. So let's just put it at or just one. And we are going to make the red portal as well. And red portal. And we are going to move that right there and the blue one right there. So they are kind of in front of each other. Okay. And then I need to create my uh, monster, my lemming in this case. So we can just rename it to lemming. And it's going to be tagged, a tag called lemming. Let's also add another tag called Paul. And let's add a tag called block. Make sure we select the lemming and tag him as lemming. The red portal is going to be our portal. Hit enter. And then he needs a box collider 2D and he needs a 
rigid body so we can detect our collisions and he needs the lemming script on it like that and then we need to select the grid and the tile map and add a grid uh, what's it called tile map collider 2d and i want to move it a little down so the monster can stand on the tiles correctly so right there and then we need to open up the animator and we need to create a new motion field that's empty and call this one block eight minutes shit. Um, and we need to create the block and that's the one we have right there so there and there block and then i delete that select the lemming find block make a transition and then i'm going to make a new trigger called block and i am going to make sure that it can transition instantly when i want it to and i'm going to make sure that it takes block and then we can find oh, where is block uh, there and we're going to make sure it doesn't loop and what else but also like a background let's see if we have that here sky see there put it over there and make sure that it is minus one and i think that's it um let's try see run this oh the game manager is not in the game main camera add component game manager have 30 seconds um amount 10 start position is the blue portal the lemming prefab we need to create a prefab of our lemming there uh, main camera lemming there delete the lemming um play 10 seconds ah fuck i forgot to get put in a speed fuck sorry for swearing uh lemming lemming lemming, lemming. one go 10 10 minutes right there okay so he can run and what happens if i click on him he blocks and they walk back and if they hit the red portal ah damn it <laughs> i forgot to put a collider on the red portal though okay okay i i can fix that real quick um box collider 2d there we go and it's a trigger so that's one thing i forgot so i went some seconds over oh why oh well so simple game the very very simple mechanic from lemmings implemented here um creating this game was very very stressful compared to what i thought it would be um and yeah as i said earlier in the beginning of the video that i had a lot of more functionalities that i would like to implement for example i had a parachute so when they walked off the edge they would have a parachute a little umbrella so they would fall slower and not die um that's one of the things but you can click the link in the description description below um, to see that game download the files check them out you can just download them use them for whatever maybe you want to use the sprite to create a game you can do that as well um so thank you very much for watching this 